And welcome everyone to a Pac-12 chat. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by Oregon head coach Dana Altman. And uh, Dana, uh, I was in Portland a couple of weeks ago. Um, your team was completely injury riddled, only had a handful of players in that last game, but you did beat Villanova. You knocked off Washington State. Um, you know, so you've won, I think, three of your last four. Um, where are you guys right now in terms of getting this roster back together? Well, with the addition of uh... Brendan Rigsby, you know, we at least got another guard. And so he's helping Will Richardson out a little bit, handle the ball. But we really miss Keyshawn and uh, Jermaine uh, Kuznard, two transfers that we were really banking on, you know, to give us some help at the guard position. You know, some experience, a lot of good experience with Frank Martin down in South Carolina and Keyshawn with, with Tad at Colorado, we, we really felt like those two guys gave us some experience at the guard position. So uh, Will was man in the guard spot by himself there for a few games, but Brennan came back the last couple games. He's trying to get his feet under him. He was out a month with a high ankle sprain. And so it's been a little bit of a slow process getting him back. But uh, uh, once he gets a little bit healthier uh, and better shape, he'll really help us. And we're hoping to get Keyshawn and Jermaine back sometime in January. Uh, Nate Biddle back in January. Uh, Ethan, we're, we're hoping we can get him back, you know, sometime in January. So, you know, we're just going to have to grind it out here uh, through December uh, into early January till we get some of those guys back. You know how this works. I mean, obviously, you don't want to dig yourself too big a hole, but if – if everyone comes back and can contribute, contribute, uh, and you've done this a thousand times before where your teams get better and better throughout the course of the season, what are the chances that a semi full or a full Oregon can really be a factor as we get deeper into the PAC 12 season? Well, I think we got a good team, Andy, you know, inside Dante's really, you know, healthy this year for the first time since he's been here. Um, and he's playing really well. His stats are really good. Will Richardson, Unbelievable job the last five games, Andy, of leading our team and really taking over you know, ownership of the team. Uh, very similar to Joe Young and, and Dylan Brooks, uh, Peyton Pritchard, some of the great leaders we've had here. Uh, he's really done a, a great job the last five games. So I hope he can keep that up. Quincy's playing pretty good. But we do need we need some help at the guard spot. You know, we need Jermaine. Uh, we do need Keyshawn. Uh, to get back, to give us more ball handling, some more perimeter shooting. Um, but, you know, I like our guys, you know, they're battling it. Uh, like I said, we're trying to grind it out. Uh, you know, we, we haven't played well in some spots. I've been disappointed, but the effort's been there. The guys are trying to work with our coaching staff. So if that continues, uh, Khalil Ware, if he continues to come on a little bit, you know, I think we can make a run, but we have dug ourselves a hole, Andy. You know, we we lost, you know, Houston game, Connecticut, two really good teams, lost to Michigan State, you know, lost to UCLA on the road. So we've lost to good teams. Irvine's a good team. Yep. You know, uh, we didn't play particularly well that night, but I don't want to take anything away from Russ's team. They came in and, and played great, um, shot it great. So uh, we've dug ourselves a hole, no doubt, but – we get those guys back, Andy. I think we can we can get better. Yeah, I mean, first of all, being one and one in the Pac-12 in December, I mean, I'm no mathematician, but that's certainly better than zero and two. And at least when you restart in a couple of weeks, you know you've at least got that one W, and you know you're sort of all even going forward. You know, one of the two losses is to the preseason favorite, so that's not the end of the world by any stretch. Obviously, in UCLA, what is it though, Dana? Begin and. I say this, I'm not alone, but you've had great success of your teams being better later. Uh, what is it about you, your program, the buy-in that your players have continuously, for the most part, gotten better in February and you guys have been there in March? With the exception of last year. Right. And I, I think that's pretty true. And, and the reason for that is we've had really good guys. You know, guys that want to be coached, guys that want to get better. And, uh, you know, I get, got a great staff that, that works with them. And, but, no, I, I think back over the years, Andy, here and at Creighton, you know, we just we had really good guys, you know, that uh, were about the team. 
you know, and, and uh, if you have that, then you guys, you know, it's a long season, six month season, you know, I always tell our guys, we got the longest collegiate sport, you know, season of any sport. So, you know, we start in October and we're hoping to be playing you know, April one, that's six full months, you know, and you just got to stay together and grinds a word we use a lot. Fellas, you know, it's not going to be fun every day. Every game's not going to go perfect. You, you just got to keep getting better, you know, and I hope at the end you're playing your best basketball. And one of the reasons we didn't play our best last year is Will got mono, you know, uh, late in the season and, and didn't play the last five, six games of the year, which didn't allow us to make that step like we wanted. But, you know, health is a big part of it. And uh, keeping guys healthy, getting guys healthy uh, is so important. But, uh, you know, we've just had really good guys. That's the best I can say, it. you know, talented guys that want to get better. All right, last thing, Dana, uh, you know, because of the hole we're talking about, um, these games coming up here, uh, you know this, that you just rattled off losses you had to good teams, teams that probably all are going to be in the NCAA tournament. You know, we'll see if Irvine can win the Big West, but these games up in front of you, how do you ensure that you don't lose games that technically could hurt you going forward and you take care of business as you continue to get healthy? Well, you know, it's the old adage, you just got to take them one at a time. Portland, you saw what they did yep. um, in Mr. Knight's tournament. Uh, they're dangerous. They can start hitting those threes. And then we got Utah Valley who just kicked uh, BYU. Uh, BYU, which was a shocker. It, yes. You know, not many people go into BYU and do that. So uh, we know we got a work cut out for us. Our schedule's been really demanding. I think Ken Palm's got it like number 20 in the country. And when you play Houston and UConn, teams that you know are really good. You know, I told our guys, we've, we've challenged ourselves. You know, the injuries have slowed us down, but you know, everybody's got problems. Everybody's got injuries. Everybody's got to live with stuff. You just, you got to work through it. And now, you know, that we're a little bit healthier uh, with uh, Brennan coming back, we at least got one guy back. Uh, you know, we got to make a move. We got to take care of business. And so we know Riverside will be dangerous tomorrow, tough. We know Portland stuff. We know Utah Valley. And then we start, uh, you know, the Pac-12 season. And, you know, like every conference, you get in the conference, you know, teams know each other. They know the systems. You know, it's it's much tougher grind. So uh, going to be an interesting couple of weeks here before Christmas. And then after Christmas, we start the Pac-12. And, you know, really impressed with what Arizona State has done, with what Utah's done. Arizona's good again. Mick's got a good ball club. Washington's dangerous. You know, Colorado's always dangerous. So, you know, it's, it's going to be an exciting time in our league. Uh, some of us have to pick it up, but I think USC's got, you know, a dangerous squad. I think we can become that. Uh, Wayne's team's going to get better and better as the season goes on. Kyle does a great job at Washington State. So, you know, there's, like every league, you know, you just got to get ready for it and uh, get on the road and, and find a way to win some games and got to take care of business at home, Andy. Everybody everybody knows the formula. Well, Dana, I'm glad you guys are starting to get healthy. And yes, I, I think it's going to be a great race. All those teams you rattled off are going to be in the picture in some form. Uh, appreciate your time, Dana. Thank you. All right, Andy. Take care.